is Dana Cargyle. Welcome, welcome to painting class here in Tyler, Texas at Valorosa Gallery. Uh, today's lesson is going to be painting flowers in a green vase. I'm going to be using some oil paint, um, but you can also do this in acrylic. Um, I just enjoy painting in oil. After many years of using acrylic, the oil is just so rich and creamy. It's just great great to use and just get a really fabulous result. Okay, and I'm going to be using a variety of different brushes. I love the ovals. I love the mop brushes. These are great for mopping in like your backgrounds and swishing out your shapes, just like blocking in your color shapes are really great. You want to do an underpainting first. This does have kind of a dirty underpainting to begin with uh, that's ready to go. and. Um, and when you're painting your colors, really look at just painting shapes, not what it is. Flowers can be any shape or size, any color, and they're just fun to use um, as a great assortment. You wanna var uh, vary your colors to give it a nice mix. Um, look at your complementary colors to make it pop. Give it some contrast. Um, uh, give it some balance between light and darks, lots of shadows, lots of highlights. And so to begin with, we're just going to draw off our vase like this and decide like what, you know, shapes. If you, I like to do like two or three big ones. I'll do three big ones kind of off one, like one, two, three. So they're off one here, one here, one over here. And then think about uh, like a, your leaves. We're gonna be painting literally some sticks and leaves and putting your leaves, have something going off the side here, off the side here, something that will make your eye travel around your canvas. And uh, flowers are just every shape and size and every color of the rainbow. So there's really no rules in painting flowers, just give it a great harmony. Um, just something that you can even paint a little abstract too, that's just playing with your colors. Practice mixing your colors. I mix white into all my shades all my shades do a little I try to do a little bit of everything and so to make it sparkle and make it pop okay so like that and I you do need to go in I like to go in and kind of do my uh, dark colors first like where is your shadows going to be where are your shadows kind of put that in um, shadows are great with dark blue with purple um, all brown makes a great shadow. Uh, you can use a little bit of black, just a little bit of black, but you don't want to muddy up what goes over it and what touches it. It can become very muddy pretty quickly when you do that. So here we're going to block out our tabletop here. This is going to be kind of like a still life also, our little vase. As you can see, I'm really bad about breaking the rules and kind of cheating when I paint because I love to paint um, wet into wet and so I'll pick up whatever is on my paintbrush and I'll wipe it in another spot and use it to kind of mix a new color and I'll just mix a color and you're really not supposed to do this but it's just, uh, I, I just it's just kind of my way of just breaking the rules because in art, you know, there's really no rules and you can always go back and paint over it and you want to just have a good balance of colors. And so if I've got green here and it's on my brush, then I'll move it and put a little green here and a little green here because I want your eye to travel around uh, the canvas and so I'll use whatever's on my brush and move it around to another spot and kind of play with it And so I'm um, just kind of practicing with some flower shapes. I've got some little 
brown eyed Susans or uh, and some a little few little white roses and I've got a few more little white small flowers coming up here and I am NOT a flower expert I can't always tell you the names of the flowers I just try to paint some fun shapes you don't have to be an expert at you know what at flowers you just paint some great shapes just make sure it has a good balance uh, of color and nice thick nice thick brush strokes to make it look good and chunky I like to layer 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 so I'll layer on all my colors so they're really good and juicy have some really juicy colors and I like to see lots of good ju juicy brush brush strokes as I'm working and it might take several layers and I'm trying to decide one two three I can't go in and count like one two three I have two yellow here and I have this little bald spot here usually I'll put some leaves usually I'll paint some leaves I like to go over overlay the vase I'll overlap your vase with uh, with leaves and I'll go back in and figure out like where's our shadows going to be have I painted away a shadow go back in and add a shadow add a shadow and these need more layers more layers to build up what you're doing and so trying to decide okay do we want our green vase to come up and fill up in here um, there you go it's great to pick up the colors around it and let it reflect back into the vase let it reflect up into what you're painting that's why I kind of take my dirty brush and wipe it into other things because I like to marry all of my paints together so they all have a little bit of dirty paint in them like this so it is just about building up your layers and not not being afraid because you can always paint over it so don't be so uh, obsessive compulsive as a lot of artists can be that can hold you back from just making a fun painting so it's great just to just to practice see there's another I got a little bit of dirty green on that but it's going to make this flower even more three-dimensional and give it another shadow just you know building up your shadow and highlight shadow and highlight give it a little pop a pop of color then go over here and repeat that I'll wipe my brush off somewhere else which is you know totally cheating you know I don't always hold a rag in my hand like a professional to wipe my brush off because I'm just you know much too impatient for that and then I'll put a little reflection of green here green here kind of paint a little green up and a little bit of gold back in so and it helps to kind of gray down things around so when you do put on a bright color it'll make it really pop out the more neutral colors you have by muddying up I'm kind of muddying up the paintings uh, the colors that are on my painting so, and then I'll look at and think green. What is a contrast to green? What makes green pop? Yellow, that's a good contrast. Green and blue. Um, the white and green looks really good. Green, green and black looks good. As you can see I like to have an odd number of colors and I have three white flowers which are three white roses or could be peonies or something else I have three of these um, little black-eyed Susans or brown-eyed Susans whatever they're called um, and so I have three yellow and I've been repeating my yellow because I love how the yellow popped with the green and I love how this lovely dark you know uh, raw sienna really pops with green too and it's all about just experimenting with your colors playing with your colors to see what sparkles I added some red into it and it was just okay because that's a complementary of green but I wasn't really that crazy about it so I'm kind of putting more gold over that red to kind of layer it up and there's never any mistakes just happy accidents as Bob Ross would say so I'm just spooning on some more paint and every layer you put on top is going to just give it more depth more dimension another shadow another highlight and so here is more gold I'm just putting some more I've got some great copper here I like the brown and the green and the yellow really pops too and so all those kind of brown brownish undertones 
kind of playing with those colors and it's all about experimenting with your colors to see what really pops uh, make it sparkle go back and and rework your shadows again get up stand back and look at it from afar see where it needs a little bit of repetition you've got white 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 you know and you need another spot of white here so your eye travels I've got yellow 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 keep your eye moving around your canvas and uh, it's just fun to play like I, I'd like to add a little purple if I wanted to try that to see how does purple look there's a great shadow color and it's does it fight it no it's not too bad so we can add a little more if you like it add a little bit more you know repeat that color that's a great shadow color so okay I kind of like that so we'll add a little bit more and it's just all total experimentation and I do try to paint things right off the sides of my canvas canvas as I'm working so just keep working all the way around I wipe wipe my brush off up here on the sides as I go along to help you get everything painted front to back Okay, and if you don't like it, let it sit and rest till the next day or in a day or two days. Come back and look at it with fresh eyes to see what it needs and um, just keep, keep experimenting. Thank you so much for joining me. Please give me a like and subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.